I have a problematic snowblower right now. It is an Arians. Pretty nice model, Deluxe 28. And it's fairly new. This thing's like, I don't know, it's probably three years old now. It's my buddy's. But very low hours. He let me borrow it like two years ago and worked fine. Used it two times. Worked great. Probably the best snowblower I've ever used. I went to use it a third time, I believe. And the problem was the wheels would not engage. No forward or reverse. What I believe, there must be a clip or something that fell apart, or a spring that broke. So I'm going to rip her apart a little bit here. We'll see what we find. Alright, working on it here. Easiest way to get to the bottom panel, inspection panel, whatever. I put two 2x4s or two 2x6s. I think it had about half a tank of gas, but it seals very well. It doesn't seem to leak when you prop it upright. Putting her all the way. And that's just about perfect. Two 2 buys. There's an inspection panel. Comes off very simply. Bolt here, bolt there, and then two on each side on the bottom. I believe those bolts were 3 eighths also. And we got the cover off. And what do we have? That looks just like a goober of grease. There's a little clip there. And that's string or something. I'm surprised how much oil is on the bottom of this already since the thing only has a few hours on it. Digging in a little closer here, I see remnants of belt. Oh, actually, that must be the drive belt. It's totally off. The pulley. Some kind of engagement has come apart or a clip has come off. The uh, propeller on here that works just fine yet. As you can see the belt is on that. It just won't drive. That sure looks like a small belt to me. Heck of a transmission set up in this thing. Really easy to maneuver this machine. It's got some kind of a cog transmission. Really neat looking. Really neat. Very easy to maneuver. But there must be. I will have to do some more investigating here. Alright, there is an inspection panel on the front of the machine here, front of the engine. It's just two bolts. That one you don't even have to take out all the way. I got that one loosened out too. Get off there! They even make that one so you can't lose it. Got a little keeper on it. And here that looks like belt. Here is our belt. Got two nice big belts for the impeller and for the drive. They just got this tiny one. I would think they'd have a bigger belt. I don't understand that. So, it looks like there is some damage 
but I'm gonna try and okay, okay. There's a tensioner. If I can get that pulled back, I think I can get the belt back on and do a little inspecting. I mean the tensioner spring is good it looks like. I've seen in other videos online where this one has broken. This one looks fine. I was thinking it was going to be that. But it appears not. So this tensioner set up on this. If you can find a flat screwdriver. Alright, to get this belt rearranged you gotta get this tensioner I guess you could take the spring off but it's not too hard to pull it out with your hand and stick a flathead screwdriver on the pulley and there's a little bracket here I think a tire iron iron would work really good then you can kinda get the belt rearranged on the pulleys where they need to be. It looks like there is a little bit of damage unfortunately. I don't think it's going to affect the belt too much. It didn't get it too much. I think this belt's still going to last a long time. It's not too bad at all. It could have been a lot worse. On the bottom, not the sides. And the V-belts, they grab on the side mostly, so. I believe she's fixed up and ready to go blow some white shit. It appears I did have to take the bottom cover off anyways. So I would not have been able to reroute that belt without taking that bottom, big bottom cover off. cannot figure out where that little clip would have gone. I'm thinking it's just an extra one that got left in there accidentally at the factory. It looks like everything's working fine. So, I guess I'll keep it before I put it back together. And not too often you see that anymore, is it? I guess these Arians snow blowers are made in Wisconsin. This model's nice. It's got a nice bright LED light on it too. So you can work at night. Alright. I do believe what tripped the uh, drive belt from coming uh, coming off on this snow blower is the linkage here for the drive. It just seems too slack to me. So, looks like there's a lot of adjustment left on it. I just gotta find the right wrenches. I've used it for almost two hours now. I just had a big storm. And, boy, that one's really loose too. That's the auger engage, auger engagement. But I think why it popped off, my guess, is probably when I, see it does get nice and tight, probably when I let go the last time that I used it, I'm guessing. I probably really let that jump up, which would have made the whole mechanism jump around inside the unit. 